So we've got the full kit here, the steak needle, the 12 hole liquid marinade needle and the open ended pureed marinade needle. We're going to be using the 12 hole needle for injecting today because we've got a pure liquid marinade. So the first thing to do always is to make sure you put a little bit of oil on the o-ring otherwise it's really hard to use. So cooking oil, uh, rapeseed oil, canola, whatever you like, just smear that around the o-ring and then once you've done that it should slide in and out of the plunger really easily. If you find that it's still a bit tough to use, just add a little bit more oil. So normally we'd be just taking the 12 hole needle for injecting, but the 12 hole needle is pretty difficult for actually drawing marinade up into the injector. So we're going to be using the needle swap method, which we talk about in our ebook, and we're going to start off with the open ended needle at the moment. Okay, so this has just got one hole in the end of the needle. And it's really good for drawing liquid marinades up, or solid marinades, uh, pureed marinades for that matter. Very good for drawing them up into the injector. So you can see we've got the end submerged below the surface of the marinade. We've drawn it up most of the way. Not all the way though, you don't want to take it all the way. So at the moment the needle and the barrel have both got lots of marinade in them. But you can see from these markings that we haven't taken it all the way back. So now tilt it back, draw the plunger in the rest of the way. And that then sucks all of the marinade out of the needle. So the needle's now just got air in it. So there's no spills. We can now just easily screw our 12 hole needle onto the end of the plunger. And then we're ready to inject. So this is a really easy method for making sure that you get um, all of that marinade up into the injector without any messes. So you now want to pick a spot and push the needle through the skin of the meat so you can start injecting. We try to avoid making too many holes in the surface of the meat, otherwise the liquid will just tend to run out while it's being cooked. So pick a couple of spots, it can be pretty tough to, oh that is a very, quite a tough bit of fat on the surface, um, oh there we go. It can be pretty tricky to get it all the way through, um, but they are very sharp needles, so once you pick a spot, give it a bit of a push, it should go through fine. So once the needles are pretty much all the way in, not all the way through the meat, just pretty much close to the other side, you can just start squeezing that plunger and injecting that marinade. Not a bad idea to draw the needle back a little bit. You don't really need to do it too much with the 12 hole needle because it does distribute the marinade so evenly, but if you're using one of the other needles it's a good idea to pull it back as you go. So now we're going in at a different angle, um, using the same hole but going in at a different angle so we're injecting marinade into a different part of the meat. And again, squeeze that plunger and just inject a bit more marinade there. Now let's find another spot now, let's go right around to this side here and again using the same outside hole but going in at a different angle that means we've now used that one hole and we've got pretty much a whole plunger full of marinade um, injected into that, um, into that pork. So we'll just repeat the procedure now, we'll uh, unscrew, that, um, unscrew that needle, put the open ended uh, needle on the end of the plunger and we'll just draw up a little bit more of that marinade. Now this marinade is a pork vinegar um, injection. This is one of the recipes we have um, in the ebook we supply with the injector, but there's plenty of recipes online um, if you're looking for a good recipe for injecting into pork. So again, we've got that, uh, got that full of marinade. Draw the plunger back to suck the last bit of marinade out of the needle. Unscrew the plunger, unscrew the, the needle, sorry. Screw the 12 hole needle back on and we're ready to go again. So this time, um, this time we'll go in at a different angle. Um, we'll go in from this end here. Actually, it might be a little bit difficult for you to see. So what we might just do is, um, once we've done that a little bit, we'll just turn that around, um, just so you've got a bit of a better view of what's going on. So as you can see, we'll just do it over like this. Um, and if you just push it in there, you can see again, quite straightforward. Those needles are very sharp, so you've got to take care with them. You don't want to uh, certainly be, be pricking yourself with them, so just take great care. And yeah, just push that needle through and just pump a little bit more brine in. And that's probably about all we need to do. Um, maybe a little bit more over here. Um, again, you just want to get a good dis distribution of the marinade through the middle of the, of the pork. And as you can see, um, we're going to put a little bit more over the top, but we have got some marinade that has run out onto the plate underneath. That's okay, um, because that will slowly be drawn up through the surface of the meat as we rest it. And if you've got any marinade left over, um, yeah, you can just sort of tip it onto the surface of the meat or whatever you might want to do with it.